focus and I want to do part three is the drawbacks or limitations of the OLS. Remember, the key, it's called the linear regression. So what we want is there to have be a linear relationship be between the variables. So, actually, so you actually could draw the line through it. That would make sense. So let me give you an example where this would not work. Let's say we want to have R. Independent variable will be the, the, the crops you, you plant crops is how much you harvest. So it's going to be your harvest. And on X variable, we'll have the rainfall. So harvest is the dependent variable because it depends on the rainfall, and rainfall is the independent variable. Harvest. Whenever there is zero rain, or zero, you're not going to harvest the whole lot, just, just a little bit. Whenever the, the rain is, there's more rain, there's some optimal point of rain. It, 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 it rains more, you harvest more. But at some point, it rains too much, and you, you don't harvest a lot of it because when it's flooding, you're not going to harvest a whole lot either. So when there's too much rain, you don't harvest either. So you see, this relationship is not linear. So, so you couldn't use OLS here. If you, if you try to probably give you a line like this, and it, it's really not giving you a whole lot of information. It'll just tell you that the rain, that the amount of rain has no effect on the harvest. So, so that's something you should be careful about. That other limitations to OLS, but this, I think I want you to stick with this one. So, so be careful about that when you use OLS. So I hope this videos were helpful. Thank you.